Photo Blocker is an as seen on TV product that's designed to make your car invisible to cameras. It's got a clear coat, anti camera protection that reflects radar flashes. So basically a couple things you're going to want to know before you test this product out is that neither the manufacturer nor the retailer assume any responsibility for use of this in violation of any laws. So you should check this out <laughs> before you purchase it. Also there's a whole long list of safety precautions when using this. Sounds like an awesome product to test out. Actually it does seem pretty cool. Um, but you're going to want to be outside when you do this or in a well ventilated area. Couldn't think outside is any better than that. And um, what I did is I got a uh, scrounge drone and found an extra set of plates that my buddy had. And so I'm going to throw photo blocker, a couple coats of it on here. We're going to slap it onto my car and see just how effective this is. So let's give this a shot. You're probably going to want to start out by making sure your license plates are clean and free of debris, ready to go. And so we did that and you can read the back of your can for the suggested best application. And for this review, we went ahead and put on the full two coats let it cure, and then what we did is we took a couple photos. Now at 4 p.m. we stood on a four foot ladder after everything was dry, took the shot, and right there, proof that photo blocker works, sure enough. Then to stir the pot a little bit, on that four foot ladder we had the car drive by at about 10 miles an hour to kind of simulate motion, and um, at 12 noon, we found that there was a little bit of mixed results in the fact that although a straight on shot was blurred, the angle shot was a little bit more clear. So then we waited until the evening and we took both the treated and the untreated license plate, put them on the back of the car, took a st static straight on shot, and sure enough, both of them create a glare. And then just again, to mix things up, we stood on a four foot ladder and at 8.30 p.m. we got another mixed result. So we are not able to, in our studio, create an exact perfect replica of toll booths or red lights or cameras, but we did find overall in general, PhotoBlocker did do it at what it was claiming to do. All right, well there you have it. PhotoBlocker was applied on one of these extra sets of plates and we did uh, several different shots throughout the day. We did a shot in the afternoon, we did a shot in the morning, we did a drive-by picture just to see if the flash would work, we did some pictures at night, we did some pictures in the garage, different lighting, and it had varied results. Now, overall, I'm David with Television and Frenzies, and I'm gonna give Photo Blocker a 4.1 out of five stars. You know, it, it does seem to work, but I think if you've got pretty simple plates, like a one or L or I's, it's probably not gonna be as effective as if you had R's or K's, just so it blocks and blurs and distorts that picture, if that's what you're looking for. So, once again, uh, varied results. So, 4.1 out of five stars. Hey, thanks so much for checking this out. Over now.